values of x to the power 18 plus 1 over x to the power 18 okay so we have to find the values of this and here we have x square minus square root of 3 x plus 1 and then equal to 0 so we have to use this hypothesis to find the values of this one okay so now let's solve it together we have a solution and here's first of all we have x square minus square root of 3 x plus 1 equal to 0 okay and then next what we have to do we have to divide both sides of the equation by x okay and we have to give x is not equal to 0 okay and then when we divide this one by x we will get x minus square root of 3 and then plus 1 over x equal to 0 okay and then now we can take x closer to 1 over x and then we move negative square root of 3 to the right hand side of the equation and then we will get x and then plus 1 over x equal to square root of 3 okay then the next step we are going to square both sides of the equation okay then we will get this one raised to square okay and then here's also raised to square okay okay so now we are going to expand this by using a formulas of a plus b raised to square so the formula will be a plus b raised to square will be equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square okay okay so then here will be equal to x square and then plus 2 x times with 1 over x and then plus with b square which is 1 over x square equal to here is equal to 3 okay so now we can take x square put it closer to 1 over x square okay and here we have x simplify with x here we will get 2 so here is equal to 2 and then we move 2 to the right hand side of the equation will be 3 minus 2 and then 3 minus 2 will be equal to 1 okay okay so the next step we are going to cube both sides of the equation so when we cube both sides of the equation and then this equation here we got the first side raised to cube and the second side also raised to cube okay okay so now we are going to use a formula a plus b all raised to cube and here stand for a and here stand for b okay so then now we got a plus b raised to cube equal to a cube plus b cube and then plus 3 a b factor a plus b okay so then now i'm going to expand this by using a formula of this okay so then what we will get next we will get we have this stand for a and this stand for b so now a cube which is this raised to cube and plus b cube and then we plus this raised to cube and then plus 3ab and then we got 3a and b and then factor a plus b here okay so now we will get here is equal to x to the power 6 
plus 1 over x to the power 6 okay and then plus so here we have x square can simplify with x square here okay and then that will be equal to 3 3 times with this one and this one equal to 1 so we will time with 1 equal to 1 okay and then now I'm going to move the number to one side so we will get 1 minus 3 1 minus 3 which is equal to minus 2 okay what we have to do next we are going to cube both sides of the equation here again okay all right so then here will be the first side raised to cube and the second side also raised to cube okay so now i'm going to expand this by using the formulas above here we have this one okay all right and then the formula here will be applied to the following expression here when we expand this in the form of this one we are going to get like this okay so here is a cube and this one stands for a and then raised to q and this stands for b okay and then b q so then that will be this one also raised to q and then plus 3 a b and then plus a and b here and then factor a plus b okay okay so then here we have x to the power 6 and raised to cube then we will get x to the power 18 and then plus 1 over x raised to the power of 18 and then plus here we got x to the power 6 and here is also x to the power 6 and then we can simplify okay and then we got 3 time with this one and this one is equal to minus 2 okay so then we have to multiply with minus 2 and then minus 2 raised to cube which is equal to minus 8 and here we got equal to minus 8 we keep this still the same and then here we have positive 3 times with negative 2 which is equal to negative 6 equal to negative 8 okay okay so now i'm going to move negative 6 to the right hand side of the equation then that will be negative 8 plus 6 okay okay so then that will be equal to minus 2 okay now we have found 